the highly anticipated Pan-African political event, organized by the New Africa Foundation, was scheduled to take place on January 7, 2024, at Ghana's Black Star Square. The event was set to feature prominent African leaders and dignitaries, including PLO Lumumba from Kenya, EFF leader Julius Malema, South Africa, former Nigerian presidential candidate Peter Obi, and former permanent representative of the African Union to the United States, Dr. Arikana Chamburi Kwao, Zimbabwe, among others. The convention was expected to be a significant gathering of African leaders and citizens, aimed at discussing critical issues affecting the continent and charting a way forward. However, the Ghanaian government abruptly canceled the event, citing security concerns, sparking disappointment and criticism from attendees, dignitaries, and observers across Africa. The organizers of the event released an official statement expressing regret over the cancellation, which they had only learned of a few hours before the event's scheduled commencement. The statement did not provide any further details regarding the nature of the security concerns that led to the cancellation. The cancellation of the event has left many questioning why the government of Ghana would stop such a significant gathering of African leaders from taking place. Many have criticized the government's decision, calling it a missed opportunity for Africa to come together and address some of the pressing issues facing the continent. In today's video, we will delve into the details of this event, explore the reasons behind its cancellation, and shed light on the criticisms leveled against the government of Ghana. On November 2023, a major convention was planned to take place in Ghana that aimed to bring together some of the most influential thought leaders from Africa, including renowned figures such as Professor PLO Lumumba, Peter Obi, Julius Malema, and others. The event was expected to focus on key challenges facing Africa's development and was also speculated to be associated with the launch of the new First Political Movement, a nascent political entity that was quickly gaining popularity in Ghana's political landscape through its social media-driven campaigns. These campaigns aim to create awareness about issues such as youth inclusion and the importance of wearing masks, among others. Despite being unregistered and surrounded by some controversy, the movement was gaining momentum, attracting young Ghanaians, and sparking debates about alternative voices and approaches to the country's future. The convention was expected to be a major platform for the movement, where it could unveil its potential new leader and a transformative political agenda. However, the event was suddenly canceled leaving patrons, journalists, dignitaries, and thousands of attendees who were present at the venue confused and disappointed. Different accounts emerged about the reasons behind the last-minute decision. Some claimed that the gathering was stopped by the police and national security, acting on government orders, while others said that some of the scheduled speakers, including Dr. Rikana Chumburi Kwao, failed to show up, leading to the event's cancellation. The Office of the President's DASPA Affairs Directorate later offered an explanation for the sudden cancellation, stating that the decision was prompted by the emergence of an unforeseen state event scheduled to take place at the same time and venue, the Black Star Square. The Directorate also revealed that the organizers' 10,000 Ghanaian cities payment for the venue's use would be refunded and apologized for any inconvenience caused. At Cantonments, the leaders of the convention organized a press conference to share a message of hope for Africa. Professor P. Lumumba spoke at the conference, stating that there is no better place to begin the message than in Accra, Ghana. He emphasized that Osaji Fukwam Nkrumah's words about Ghanaian independence being linked with the independence of the African continent still ring true today. The conference was meant to take place at the same spot where Ghana's founding fathers had stood to make their declaration, but it was strangely stopped. The cancellation of the event has led many to believe that the Ghanaian government, currently led by President Nana Akufo, is attempting to quell dissenting voices and compromise Ghana's democratic values. The event was also meant to be the platform for the official unveiling of the face behind the fast-rising opposition New Force movement. However, the spokesperson for the movement, Belgian businesswoman Shalim and Abuchi, was arrested and re-arrested and her residency permit was revoked by the Ghana Immigration Service. This has led many to view the cancellation of the entire event as a thinly veiled attempt by the Akufa government to frustrate political opposition. Currently, there are conflicting narratives as the government of Ghana claims that the convention was cancelled at the last minute because it conflicted with state events scheduled to take place at the same time and venue. Despite this claim, the abrupt cancellation of the event has reflected poorly on the government. 
The recent cancellation of an event in Ghana has stirred up a lot of controversy and speculation about the government's intentions. Although the organizers of the event did release a statement acknowledging the cancellation, they did not provide any support for the government's explanation that the convention conflicted with a state-sponsored event scheduled to take place at the same venue and time. The sudden and unexpected nature of the cancellation, the presence of heavy security preventing people from entering the venue, and the failure to unveil the face behind the new force movement at the convention all contribute to the suspicion that the Ghanaian government is trying to silence dissenting voices. Furthermore, Given the history of the government's arrest of some of the members of the new force's top leadership, it is reasonable to question whether the government is intentionally infringing on the people's right to free speech and freedom of association. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to bringing you more informative content in the future.